A cleanup order has been issued at a filthy, trashy, feral cat colony in Prince George's County after our reporting on the issue in the past few days. What's unclear at this hour is how any cleanup may affect the fate of the 20 or so cats that are living there out in the wild. Here's Scott Broom in Upper Marlboro to follow up. In my reporting, here's how I described this place near the Marlboro Square Shopping Center here in Upper Marlboro. Let's go to the videotape. You want to come down here, bring your boots, and hold your nose. These feral cat colonies are places like this. A no man's land, some woods behind some dumpsters of a fast food joint in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And it stinks. Cat urine and vulture poop. Yes, that was vulture poop and mud I fell down in. It's trash everywhere. Trash on the ground. It's gross. And huge numbers of black vultures, which are scavengers. This place is home to 20 feral cats fed daily by volunteer Marion Parker. It was inspected by Prince George's County Department of Permitting Inspections and Enforcement Wednesday. Today, a cleanup order was issued to the property owner, an investment limited liability corporation that owns the shopping center here that's home to a grocery store and a fast food joint. I've been unable to track down the owner despite days of trying. The county is giving the property 10 days to clean up the area or risk having a lien slapped on the land to cover the county's costs for doing it themselves. What's not clear is what may become of the 20 or so cats that are living in these conditions here, especially if these flea-infested plastic bins they're living in and eating from are thrown away. Now, Prince George's County Animal Services officials say at least some of the cats here have been handled by volunteers who do a protocol called TNR, that's Trap, Neuter, and Release, where they capture the cats, fix them, vaccinate them, and then let them back out in the wild. That's highly controversial with wildlife managers and animal health experts who say the cats free roaming kill billions of birds and help spread disease. If the county catches any of those cats, which are identified by a clipped ear, officials are required to contact the volunteer organizations. They have three days to come get the cats and let them go all over again. In Upper Marlboro, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Prince George's County's Animal Services Director told us most of the cats are not socialized and are too wild to be adopted into homes, so they may have to euthanize them.